All right, so this is how my uh, derailleur is hanging on my my car, and I got a new one for fifteen dollars. This is how it's supposed to hang on it, so you can kind of see the difference. Um, the the biggest challenge is going to be hooking the uh, the shifter cable back on. All right. Oh, and also the chain. It's it's a toss-up between putting the chain back on and it's got some strength. Putting the chain back on the shifter. I really don't care about being able to shift though. It's not that big of a problem. Um, but uh, yeah, the chain. I gotta buy a new chain. I can't use the one I have. You can see the the teeth are ripped out of this one and broken here. I think my spokes on my tire might be broken too. I didn't look at them very close, but this is very different. Um, I was told this, you know, for fifty dollars, this is the cheapest one. This this must have been a lot cheaper. All right, all right. So I've got to do some of the work on the back of my car. I I took off well the the uh, broken uh, one, and then I want to put this one on um okay yeah just screw that on and bolt that on and but I, yeah i'm gonna need to buy a new chain and then this this cable thing needs to attach somewhere <gasps> i almost okay this spring is pretty important all right yeah i'm in a walmart Walmart parking lot, so that's why I'm doing it in the back of my car. <clears throat> it's kind of chilly out. But yeah, I want to attach that on and, and uh, figure out this cable thing. i got to be careful of the spring. I can't lose that. It goes somewhere special. Probably right here. Okay, well I got this bicycle. Uh, I uh, gave it the ability to bite, to pedal again, but I, I broke a brake and I lost my ability to shift, so now I'm riding without any brakes and any way to shift. So even this little decline right here in the hill is quite scary now because I have to stop entirely with my feet. I mean, I, I still I still want to ride it without brakes. It's just a little scarier. It's nice to have that slight increase in speed. Um, you see like most of this area I've been riding though is I've been walking around and checking out has mostly been flat anyway. All right, back down the busy road. It's just a nice flat section of land ideal for farming but it's been um, habited, habitated instead so we got enough land for farming this, this flat land is more ideal for just getting around in general so there's just maybe fewer chances of accidents or something. Easier living. So I'm heading to a food bank and I'm gonna have to walk my bicycle in town. I think they got signs saying no bicycling. Either that or bicycle on the side of the road. You miss on. <clears throat> but I want to stop at the library before I go over. I got got some notes on my iPad to tell me where this food bank is. I'm using Microsoft OneNote primarily to to find or to to make notes for food banks. That's the extent of my professionalism. 
It's pretty nice. I was trying to find a program that I could write on a picture. So I, I took a screenshots of the map, on Google Maps, of the direction to get to the food bank from the library. But I wanted to write a note what it was and the times and hours, hours and days. And Microsoft OneNote allows that pretty easy. I have Photoshop, but that's too much work. I just want to quickly get the picture, write a little note, and get out. The food bank is open right now, so that's what a note I'm making. And then, yeah, I don't do that too much. This Microsoft OneNote's been out for a while. It's supposed to be better than, or somebody prefers it over Evernote. Evernote, you can like save a lot of things and look them up later. And then OneNote, you can make immediate notes right on right on things, pictures or whatever. I don't know if Evernote allows that. I've always had trouble with Evernote. I'm just, I was just getting blocked by the login screen. OneNote, I, I logged in really easily. And uh, I think I'll, I'll prefer OneNote over Evernote now just because of the ease of logging in. I don't know why Evernote had to be so difficult. But uh, that's, that's the difference between uh, big, big brands, um, products, and, and young upstarts. I think Evernote's still pretty, pretty new to the game. People hate bicyclers around here.